Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We are live, ladies and gentlemen, Thursday, the 30th day of September 2010. Dr. Doug Rocky will be joining us coming up the third hour. The former head of the Army and the Pentagon's depleted uranium weapons program. To tell you just how deadly this stuff is and how they're covering up the incredible health effects and cancers and deaths that it's causing in the military that uses it. Uh, not to mention the 14-time uh, increase in cancers uh, in Fallujah with the people that live in and around areas bombarded by it. Speaking of radiation, big success yesterday, and this is why we do this, and yesterday was a big success. We had listeners search the term Feds Radiating Americans, and uh, folks, give me a document cam shot for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Look at these headlines. Feds Radiating Feds radiating Americans, mobile x-ray vans hit U.S. streets. Christian Science Monitor. And it literally lifts entire paragraphs of Paul Joseph Watson's report, talking about the warrantless checkpoint in Atlanta, the fact that they're driving by radiating your houses, uh, and the different reports about how dangerous these x-rays are and how this is a new precedent. So no credit to us, but I don't care. The point is that uh, this is getting wide attention by more than 20 newspapers and major publications. Here's Christian Science Monitor. Here's Yahoo News, Feds Radiating Americans. Big report, same thing. Uh, feds Radiating Americans with scanners at road checkpoints. Is it true, AOL News? And they said, yes, Alex Jones is correct. It is true. Without warrants. And it's dangerous to those running the machines and those being hit by it. Uh, it. I mean, just literally more than 20 major publications picking up on the search term. Conservatively, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of additional people seeing these stories now. And I know how the media cycle works. This is going to now spur a cascade in the next few weeks of big articles uh, and, and, and will cause a national debate now. You're going to be seeing it on Glenn Beck and everywhere else, and that's good, about the mobile x-ray scanners, the airport scanners going in mobile vans, where when you go to a rock concert, they have these big, giant 18-wheeler tractor trailers that they force thousands of people through to, to get into sporting events. This is now going to cause a major debate about this. Instead of it just being implemented, and then it's in a few local newspapers, you know, when they set up checkpoints and make you drive through them. This is going to cause a big national debate about England already putting up uh, scanners on light poles that just, just blast through your clothes as you walk by them. Uh, they're now calling for that here. So uh, just amazing job, listeners. Feds radiating Americans, mobile x-ray vans hit U.S. streets. Christian Science Monitor, AOL News, uh, Yahoo News. Uh, the lists just go on and on and on. So very, very exciting. Uh, good job to everyone out there that made that happen. And coming up later when I have time to get back into this with some new developments, here's Popular Science, 1927, uh, the August issue. And it says, U.S. Air Marshals. Yes, all about the police taking to the airwaves to stop alcohol, which they, of course, were getting paid off by the mafia. That's why the government made alcohol illegal, was to boost the prices. That was also their plan with heroin. And they did that as well, still illegal, and they make much larger profits, and there's more of it on the streets because of it. Uh, but it says, x-rays ferret out rum. So what is old is new. We're going to be discussing that. But they had to stop because, well, the federal marshals and uh, local police using the x-ray machines, they didn't live too long. But hey, so what if some cops die? So what if some military die? So what if some Homeland Security die? They're going to at least have fun radiating citizens so they get to give what they get. The government thinks we're so stupid they're rolling this out everywhere. So enjoy your ten times the chest x-ray every time they blast you. 
This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Listen up, friends. This is Alex Jones with Key Information. The mainstream media is now admitting that we're going into a depression. Don't be dependent on the government for you and your family. You need to get your own supply of high-quality storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. They're the best company out there, the longest continually operating, with a ton of great food to choose from. It's all fresh and made on a monthly basis, not some old cruddy food they're selling you like some of the other guys. Try their new evacuation pack, a two-week supply of delicious, easy-to-fix food. It comes with all the equipment you need to prepare it. With open talk of a strike on Iran in the next three months, the crisis in the Gulf, and possible evacuations, get yourself and your family ready today. The place to go is eFoodsDirect.com. Go to their website online right now, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or call 800-409-5633. Again, on the web, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or give them a call at 800-409-5633. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee Where they make blue diamond gusset jeans They so pride in every stitch Guarantee you love the way they fit They put a diamond gusset in the crotch Where you need it most Blue diamond gussets got it Others don't we turn jeans inside out. Diamond Gusset Jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender Motorcycle Jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond Gusset Jeans got it. Others don't. You walk into this room at your own risk because it leads to the future. Not a future that will be, but one that might be. This is not a new world. It is simply an extension of what began in the old one. It has patterned itself after every dictator who has ever planted the ripping imprint of a boot on the pages of history since the beginning of time. It has refinements, technological advances, and a more sophisticated approach to the destruction of human freedom. But like every one of the super states that preceded it, it has one iron rule. Logic is an enemy and truth is a menace. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Hail all liberty lovers! Skull! I guess in Viking means uh, greetings to everyone out there who loves liberty and freedom and who doesn't want to be a slave. Thank you for joining us. It is Thursday, the 30th day of September 2010. And, and as long as I'm on this Norse line, I would just add that Cattle die and kinsmen die, but I know there's one thing that never dies, and that is the fame of a dead man's deeds. We'll never forget George Washington and Thomas Jefferson and others who fought tyranny. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, the great war deciding the future of the human species is taking place on this planet right now. I hope you don't sit there on the sidelines. I hope you join the fight 
to defend liberty and freedom against the scientific dictatorship. There is another off-the-charts article at prisonplanet.com. The government has gone from lying and saying they weren't wiretapping anybody without warrants in this country to admitting they are scooping up everything you do. Emails, faxes, phone calls, all being run through giant NSA and literally hundreds of other private contracting agencies breaking the law in mass. None of it has anything to do with fighting al-CIA to al-Qaeda groups around the world. It's all about you and your family. As Cass Sunstein at the White House and others have said, as the Mayak Report and Homeland Security reports clearly demonstrate. And you know about the Israeli companies and other private groups spying on Americans being paid by federal and state Homeland Security, compiling the names of state representatives, mainline Second Amendment groups, land rights groups, anti-war groups, anybody politically active. This is the secret police network now set up. And they've got the snatch and grab teams grabbing people in front of news cameras and putting bags over their heads in Canada, the U.S. and England at G20 events to scare you. Police have been caught all over the world. Denver Post, Toronto Star reporting on police caught attacking their own officers as a pretext to then attack peaceful crowds of demonstrators. This is a government run for and by bloodthirsty, psychopathic, greedy control freaks. And when we finally realize that, we'll have some chance of beating these people. They have armies, though, of useful idiots in corporate America and in government who are compartmentalized and believe the false download cover stories they're given for why they're doing what they're doing. And I've since gotten some more intel confirming what a former TSA officer told us about yesterday, that in the last two months they've been giving them all verbal questionnaires uh, as they re read down the questionnaire uh, saying, are you for the naked body scanners? Uh, you know, Will you put people through them? Will you force everyone through them? The TSA told the Chicago Tribune four months ago they do plan to make it mandatory for all. El Paso Times reports going back three months ago, they're already trying to force everyone in El Paso. And they know they can force you to go into a radiation uh, bath. They know if they can let you know they're saving the images of your naked body, you will submit to anything. Next is going to be DNA taking checkpoints on highways everywhere, already being federally rolled out in the name of DUI. Next, they will implement the executive order from back in 1994 by Bill Clinton for urine and blood testing. It's already on the books to take your urine, your blood, or other tissue samples to get a driver's license. It is here. It is here, ladies and gentlemen. It's not coming. It's here. Authorities plan to troll phone calls for emails for signs of resentment towards the government. PrisonPlanet.com. Uh, what did the Buffalo News... Uh, just, in fact, guys, I couldn't find it in my stack yesterday for Monday. Will you reprint me that Buffalo News report about... Uh, I forget the exact headline about how the police are meeting with the feds to uh, get pre-crime databases and to uh, watch individuals for signs they might be unhappy with the government. Because that dovetails with Watson's article, but here it is. Face crime, Orwellian technology seeks to identify disgruntled Americans as terrorists. And the quote is resentment towards government. Uh, the federal government is announcing that they're going to have loudspeakers everywhere, just like in the airport. America will be like the airport. We're now at a orange alert, orange alert. There'll be guys with you know, German shepherds walking around. When I was in the Atlanta airport earlier this month uh, with Jesse Ventura, it was literally police dogs, people bugging their eyes out at you. Constant announcements of orange alert, high threat of terrorist, watch, watch everywhere, look out. I mean, like out of a science fiction movie. I'm living in 2010. It's a nightmare Orwellian state we're being immersed into. And the cameras are watching you, and if you look a little upset when you hear the announcements that will now be blaring on street corners everywhere, it's already happening in England. Or if you get stopped by the secret police, they already have this in England, now rolling out here, and they come up and ask you if you're a terrorist or ask you what you think about the government, they're going to have a handheld camera watching your expressions. Oh, your expression. Folks, you cannot make the magnitude of this up. This is a psychological warfare dictatorship run by a bunch of degenerates who get off on...